Good morning, folks. We've got four important studies to cover today, an earthquake, and solar activity that should be relevant this week. We took an X-class solar flare last night, and we've got two CMEs to diagnose as we start with the last 24 hours on the sun. The same active region that released the CME we saw yesterday morning had a much larger event as the sun was setting in the United States, an X-class solar flare near the departing limb. Let's first review the full coronagraph details from the eruption yesterday and then we'll do the X-class flare. As we showed in last night's special video, the CME we saw beginning to erupt yesterday morning does have a partial halo component. Plasma visible around the entire circle indicating a glancing blow is due at Earth, which Noah's Enlil spiral suggests is due to impact early on the 8th, less than two days away. Of course, hopefully you caught this in the solar images at the start. A much larger blast reaching X-class flare rating occurred there last night, and it has also released a CME. This one also appears to have plasma widely ejected, so that should make two glancing blow CMEs on their way to Earth. It's a good thing the X-class flare was not pointed directly at our planet since it's providing the secondary aspect of a potential one-two punch. Hopefully the Enlil spiral updates today with both eruptions. Let's go next to seismicity was not the biggest earthquake of the day, but it was the most damaging. Five Pointer in China took out several houses and other buildings, but there were no immediate reports of casualties in the event. We'll start the papers with one on cosmic rays and clouds. We were just discussing this in a special video a few nights ago, and here, the correlation, confirmed many times before, is confirmed once again. They also suggest this easily transitions into a modulating impact on ocean temperatures. Up next, we have seen several papers on this topic as well, but it's good to get another one. The impact of Earth's magnetic field on heart attacks confirmed once again. Yes, there are many things that contribute to heart attacks like your diet or ill-advised medical procedures, but the electromagnetic forces of Earth do play a role as well. We shared this one last night, and it's something else the magnetic field touches, the energetic electron bombardment of the atmosphere. As Earth's magnetic field weakens in the ongoing pole shift, obviously, we should expect that bombardment to increase. And last but not least, I'm hoping this is simply a function of newer, better technology. The sun is now confirmed to produce the highest energy light to levels that were not previously thought possible. Whether it's the scientists' poor modeling of the sun's potential or a new gear reached by our star in this ongoing solar system shift, or both, this is a major rewrite of the sun's activity that has astronomers scrambling for answers, which, frankly, they should be getting used to by now. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.